Welcome back everyone to Disney Springs. It's been a long time since I've just strolled around Disney Springs. Frankly, it's not just a stroll though, I do have an agenda, believe it or not. Well, not really an agenda, I want to get one thing done and then we'll stroll around. So it's kind of both. My one thing that I want to get done is that a brand new restaurant has, a, has opened since I've been back. Uh, it opened up last week, so it hasn't been, you know, super long. But it's been a long time since I, like, have been to Disney Springs. So, it is uh, called Chicken Guy and created by uh, famous Guy Fieri of uh, Diners, Dines, Dine-Ins and Drives fame and uh, is a chicken tender restaurant kind of comparably to like a like a PDQ sort of thing first of its kind um, I've heard multiple reviews online a lot of people who are here opening day I wasn't so lucky work you know life you know um, but I've heard mixed reviews very very mixed reviews about it um, I've heard everything from horrible to meh to these chicken tenders are straight up godlike and they're amazing. I'm it's it's mixed enough to where I'm excited to try it for myself and let you guys know. All right, so just in case it's amazing, um, if you're ever in Disney Springs and uh, you want to go to Chicken Guy. It is, uh, should be easy to find because it's attached to Planet Hollywood. All right, there you go, there's Planet Hollywood. And you walk a little bit forward. There's the world of Coke. And... Burp, 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 burp. Right over here is a longer walk than I thought. It's still, Planet Hollywood's a big building though. Right over here, in this little section, right here, this chicken guy. Look how easy that was. Let's go check it out. All the design is better, aesthetic. It's really cool. <laughs> hey! <laughs> um, okay, this is what they're going to be known for. Is, was it 17 different songs? Oh my goodness. Insanely cool. Alright, well the logo on everything is hilarious. Um, I got the three tenders combo, fries, drink, all that. Everything comes with two sauces. As you can see, I got the special sauce and the sweet sriracha barbecue. Uh, you can, however, uh, for 50 cents get extra sauces. So that's good to know. Let's dig on into these things though. I'm not gonna try the, fir the fries first because, let's be real, everybody's had a french fry. Uh, which one should I do first? The signature? I think it's signature sauce, that's like their thing. You look at the tender, kind of flimsy, but it's okay. It's alright. Let's try this thing. It's a good tender. Okay. The signature sauce is really good. I believe it's like ketchup, mustard, mayo, something else mixed. I didn't really read that. And yes, I'm going to double dip because it's my food and judge me if you will. Um, this is the sweet sriracha barbecue. I like the signature sauce a little bit better. But it's not bad. It's pretty good. Uh, and I think for the sake of food review, I'll try one of these fries. Yeah, I definitely like the signature sauce more than the sriracha, but it's good. It's good. Um, fries are very well seasoned. I'm gonna finish eating, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think. 
Alright, now that I'm finished, uh, it was good. It was really good. Um, would I go here again? Yes. Also, I try when I'm doing food reviews to stay away from price, usually, but I feel like it should be mentioned. The whole combo thing, plus the drink and everything, was only like 12 bucks. It really, you're looking at Disney price, it's a norm at all. But no, I mean, finally we have a value restaurant in Disney that doesn't suck. Finally, that's the goal. That was the goal. It, uh, it's very comparable to like a Chick-fil-A, a PDQ. Um, it was kind of a flimsy tender. For the most part, it wasn't super meaty. But it, um, it was filling at the same time. Um, I had the three tenders and fries and I ate all three tenders. I got about halfway down my fries and was just full and couldn't do it anymore. So it will it's definitely worth your buck if you know if that's any indication. <laughs> um is it the greatest tenders I've ever had? Absolutely not. But bottom line is that I would come back. It's worth the money. Food review over. Also, it had to be mentioned, while I was sitting there, I met a really nice guy named Christopher and his family, who uh, came up and asked me, you know, are you a YouTuber? I said, yes. He said, I'll absolutely check out your channel. Super cool. Lovely meeting you. Hope you enjoy the channel. So I've been at Disney Springs for what? Maybe an hour? Maybe. Probably not. Cause I'm a quick eater. All I've done is eat. And I've already bought something. I don't know how that happened. I don't know. Time to go into the coolest gosh darn store in Disney Springs. Uniqlo. Okay. Party time. Getting lit up in here. Right, so this is one thing I like about Uniqlo is that they always seem to have a new type of Disney line. Right now it's the Love and Mickey Mouse collection. If you're interested, come check it out. Not bad. I'm also a relatively big fan of the price. Um, when it comes to Disney shirts, normally they're 25, 35, 45, you know, just your, I'm used to park prices. Uh, $14.90 is great for some of this stuff. Like, it's just they're very, very unique. Usually. Look at the Mickey Mouse watch. That's so funny. I like that. It's just like me, always. Alright, and here's the shirt that one goes with. Even Donald, like, get them all just giving me eyes. That's funny. That's funny. I've always been a big fan of this Mickey Mouse, like, astronaut type shirt, too. Like the Sorcerer Apprentice design, too. Everyone is going to be. Very cool. There it is. It's been a while since I've seen that fire. And so this is the other thing that everyone else has seemed to have found time to do that I just haven't been back for yet. It's the newly remodeled, unfinished World of Disney. Alright, here's an example of one of the old signs that's going to be taken down. And here's an example of the type of signage that is going to replace it. Alright, we're in. Uh, as soon as we walk in, I see that we have some Halloween stuff up. It's not even September. How early is too early? I'll let you be the deciding factor there. Um, Goofy's a mummy though. Pretty cool. Donald always has some kind of a smirk on his face every year. He always has a cool looking smirk. Uh, Goofy is a mummy. Might be my favorite thing ever. Alright, but focusing less on the products and more on the design of the building, um, it's, it's more sleek, it looks cleaner, it's less chaotic, I see. Um, somebody said that these are supposed to have some kind of a projection wall of some kind. I don't know that for sure. The other thing that must be said is that there's a lot more walking room, which is nice. The little skip I just did, I wouldn't have been able to do that in the old world of Disney because it was so congested and so crowded. The opening up of the area is nice. 
All right, here's one another thing I do like uh, is that it's all based on like animation. So like there's like Ariel and Aladdin and Jasmine and stuff like concept art and drawings. Like the whole pencil etched design is very very cool. The other thing that should be said is signage like that uh, makes things a lot easier to find in the store. It's cool. Yeah, it's growing on me. It's growing on me. It's, it's a nice design. It's very nice. And as you can see over here, uh, it says the reimagining continues with some very, very cool pictures. Look at the three Caballeros concept art. That's awesome. I love that. Very, very, very cool. Um, yeah, grand reveal, fall 2018. So, truth be told, I will probably be back fall 2018. Spitting stitches back. And he's spitting. It's great. Okay, I don't know who new this is, but it's super cool. Apparently, if you have Disney Photo Pass, you can go in here with professionally done pictures with very, very cool backgrounds uh, for, you know, the price of your pass. Very cool. I might do it. Maybe. Just maybe. I might do it. I'll probably... Should I do it? Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. So that was super fun, super easy. They have two sections. Uh, this one right here that you're looking at is uh, like like classy photos. Like if you want to come get your graduation photos here, you absolutely can. The one that that family just stepped into uh, is the one where they insert fun, magical moment uh, backgrounds. And you do poses and stuff. I'm going to let you all take a guess as to which one I stepped into. Of course I stepped into the fun one. Of course. Uh-oh. Starting to feel raindrops. Looks like it's Florida o'clock. I mean, there's worse places to seek shelter. I love finding new stuff. Here's all the Halloween pens. That's amazing. Creep it real. The puns are real. BB-8 is a pumpkin. The magic band. Oh my gosh, look at that one. I did, oh. That Haunted Mansion cast member uniform, magic band. That one may happen. That one may happen, honestly. Alrighty, here's time for a little Funko Pop update. They are not lacking in Incredibles 2 Pops. Plenty, plenty of those. Got lots of Star Wars doors. And over here, I haven't seen this yet, actually. So I'm gonna see you later. All right. This is cool. This is really cool. $18.99 mystery pack. Super, super cool. Uh, Last Jedi Dorb are not lacking, lots of them. And if you haven't picked up a gold collector, I made an entire video of it thinking if it's going to be rare, but uh... So if you haven't picked one up and you want to, plenty. Oh my god, I'm so happy I got inside when I did. I have been in here for about 45 seconds. Oh my god. Oh, it's nasty. Oh, it's bad out here. Well, that might be the my most favorite pen ever. Close second is this for creativity. And the most modern pen design I've ever seen goes to this. I will give you major props if you remember this guy's name, because I do not. I'm going to slowly start making my way across Disney Springs through other stores. So for right now, it's beginning to look a lot like, well, you know the that is the greatest wreath of all time. Oh, look at the little baby Groot ornament. Put a tree on the tree. Look at that fake digital fireplace. Look at that thing. That's awesome. I feel warmer already. I'll tell you what. 
Next time it's pouring down random Disney Springs, I'm dipping in here first. This is probably my favorite store in all of Disney Springs, though. Conveniently right across the street. I'm only running to get, not get my camera wet. <laughs> and I didn't. It's only $1,300. It's only $1,300. Please, God, somebody give me $1,300. So for thirty dollars each, this is cool. So they're twenty-five by seven inch note cards and envelopes with a really, really insanely cool design on them. I'm really, I'm really digging these. Look at this. I would just, I mean, I'd give that card to everybody. And over here is what takes all of my money usually. Um, essentially, what you do is you pay. A certain price, can't remember exactly what it is, but they, they draw it out in front of you, which is insanely cool, as you can tell that there's somebody behind that desk drawing the Lilo and Stitch one. So the pricing of these is actually charged uh, per character, so you see one character is 45, two characters is 65, three characters is 80, and so on and so forth. But, I mean, just incredibly, massively talented. Um, I actually do have a, um, like an angry Donald Duck one hanging up in my house from a little over a year ago. Um, which was insanely cool, and I love it. Um, that's not the one I have, but it's very similar to it. Um, I might have to show that one sometime. Um, but yeah, definitely 100% if you're looking for a unique uh, item from Disney Springs, I would definitely suggest one of these. Well, that was both a fun and successful trip to Disney Springs. A little wet there for a minute, but fun and successful nonetheless. And the night's not over yet. We are back in good old Port Orleans, Riverside, because I'm curious if once, just one time, if I could win at Disney trivia. All right, super loud, uh, super busy. Much busier than last time. The stage is going to be all the way over there, so I'm not 100% sure how we're going to hear them. Um, here's one team. Here's one team with Paige and Miss Tomorrow, WDW Couple, Forest Needs. Hello! Hello! <laughs> we miss Dee Dee! <laughs> Thank you, Dee Dee. And then we got Brian from Orlando 360. We got Friendly Neighborhood Paul. Hey. And the other half of 4072. What is the name of all six members of Big Hero 6? It's Baymax, Hero, Fred, three more people. Lost. Lost. Alright, what's a better team name? Okay. The winners are turned down for Wall.
56? All right, so out of 56, or 59 points, we have our grand prize winner. Congratulations. The winner's lost. What makes sense anymore? Subscribe down below for weekly adventures. Bring that little bell icon for notifications on every single episode. You guys have a great night.